What's good y'all, it's Lushi and today I'm gonna break down an ambient, vibey, reversed guitar sample for someone like Gunna. So let's get straight to it. So here's the FOP. We only got four sounds in this one. I'm gonna walk you through each of the sounds, uh, explain how I made the MIDI, some music theory as well, and also show you the effects I added to each sound. So here's the first melody. It is from Contact, from the Contemporary Drama Toolkit. It's a guitar, and I went with the plucked preset right here, which is this one. So first I'm gonna play you the MIDI without any effects applied, and then I'm gonna break it down for you. So, th so this part right here and this part right here is exactly the same. I'm gonna get rid of that part first. And then I'm gonna get rid of this. So we start off at C sharp, which is the root note of the scale. And then we're going down four semitones to A and then going up two semitones to B. So basically I start off by making a chord out of this C sharp. So if you're skipping every other note like this, you have a C sharp minor chord. But I decided to get rid of the third note, which is this one right here. And also add another C sharp right here. So you can play around, you don't always have to use all the notes in a chord like this. This sounds one way, you can pitch the E up. You can use the root note twice and use the fifth once like this. Like I decided to do in this sample. So after I had these notes down, I decided to take the G sharp and move it to the side like this. So it's still the same chord, but we're adding a little bit of rhythm to it. So after I heard uh, like the G sharp, I wanted to add another note up here somewhere. So let's first find the rhythm and then find the right note for it. So I wanted it to hit right here. So I tried out different notes. I decided to go with the C sharp again, but I made this little roll thing right here, so I made it go up like this. So after the E, I, I wanted to keep going up, like, like kind of hit somewhere, so... That's not it, so I moved it up to the next note. So that's perfect. It was kind of empty by just having a G sharp right here. So I decided to pitch down the, the G sharp to two octaves like this. I'd also add another note like here, I think. So this is the first chord, uh, the C sharp, now we're in A. So I did the, pretty much the same thing for this one. So we can start off by making an A major. And then I think I, I didn't use the third here as well. I only used the, the fifth, so we've got the first and the fifth, and I pitched up the fifth right here. And then I duplicated it and pitched it down as well. I made this rhythm thing to it again, so I moved it to the side right here. And for the B, I did the same thing pretty much. I took the B, pitched it up one octave, and uh, did the fifth thing right here. So if this is a B major, we're deleting this and keeping this right here. But then it was kind of like uh, boring, so I added another roll right here. I just added these two and uh, let it land on B right here. Yeah, and I also sliced the B note right here to give it more rhythm again. And then I did this crazy thing at the end, uh, just going up and messing around with different notes, seeing what sounds good. Yeah. So this is pretty much the whole melody. I duplicated it and just changed like a couple notes for the second, uh, the second part. I think I added a note right here. Yeah, so this is pretty much the whole melody. After I had this done, I strummed the melody by pressing Alt S, messing around with this knob right here. 
I went something like this, and then I went in and just uh, messed around with each of the like notes. So after I had the MIDI down, I went over to the effects. So the first thing I added was the EQ, took out the low end. Uh, after that, I added vintage, uh, like Valhalla vintage verb. And after that, I added decapitator I went with the BFG2 preset. And I almost always use this on my guitars. And then I added the EQ, took out some of the like uh, muddy areas right here in the bass and the low mids and boosting some of the highs. And yeah, these two effects come, I'll talk about them in a second. So after I had this, I wanted to reverse the melody, but I didn't want to reverse it like how it is. So I pressed Alt Y to first reverse the MIDI. And then I went to the playlist, I bounced it out and I reversed it again. So by pressing Alt Y in the piano roll, it makes it that after reversing the sample, we still have the same chord progression. But if we would have just reversed the sample without reversing it in the piano roll first, the chord progression would have been like reversed as well. So after reversing it, I also pitched it up two semitones. So now we're in D sharp instead of C sharp. But here's what the reverse guitar sounds like. So after that I, I went back to the mixer channel and I muted all of the previous effects because we don't want to use them twice and I added a Cymatics Lotus and the Sequencer DMT preset and also EQ to take out more of the low end right here. So I'm going to show you what it sounds like with the Cymatics Lotus on. So after I was done with the reversed melody, I wanted to add some type of piano and some like bass notes for two reasons. First to fill up lower frequencies and also to kind of give the sample more rhythm because when it's reversed, the rhythm kind of like goes away. So I added the piano to fill up the low end a little bit more and to make the sample hit more when the chords are changing because you can't really like hear the chords as much when the melody is being reversed. And for the effects I added an EQ, taking out the highs, because I like I said I wanted this sound to add, act like a bass pretty much. And I also added a maglet verb. But I'm gonna play them together so you can like kinda understand what I mean with the transition from the chords that you can hear them more clearly with the pianos on. And the third melody is also from Contact. It is, uh, I went to Mallet Flux and chose the Marimba preset. And the mid is very simple. It's just a chorus from the original melody. So we get D sharp minor, D sharp minor again, D major, and then C sharp major. I decided to like, instead of having it play like this at the first beat of every bar, I decided to move it to the side like this. It adds more rhythm to the whole sample. And it is kind of in between the piano notes. So I'm gonna play the piano and the mallets together for you so you can hear how they play out together. So instead of playing like this. Instead of hitting at the same at the same time, I move them to the side and it just adds more rhythm to the whole sample. And for the effects on the mallets, I started off with a decapitator, BFG2 preset, an EQ to take out the low end, another EQ doing the same thing, uh, some reverb, and a cinematic slotus. And it's the same preset as I used on the guitars in the beginning. So here's how the mallet sounds like with the effects on. And for the final sound, sound selection wise, I didn't want to go with another bell or a plucky sound. And I didn't want to go with a pad either because the reverse melody is pretty much a pad and we we're having like two layers of plucky sounds already. So I could have went with a flute or I could have went with like a brass sound. But I went with a vocal because I thought a vocal would fit the sample perfectly. So I went to the vocalize 2 bank in contact and I went to the F sharp minor phrases. So I went to this right here and you can really like, even if you're working in G, G minor, you can use any of these. All you have to do is like tune it right here on the pink notes right here. So I was using F sharp minor. I just tuned it to D sharp and all the phrases works perfectly in the sample. 
So here's the here's the phrases I chose. I'm gonna play them first without any effects applied. And for the effects, I start off with an EQ, and then I added a reverb, just to make the vocals a little bit warmer, and then finally taking out some harsh frequencies right here. So here's how the vocal sounds like after the processing. But yeah, here's how the final sample sounds like. So thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you enjoyed the breakdown, and hope you learned something new. And yeah, I'm gonna catch you on the next one.